Welcome back to another episode of Getting Together Garage. Today, I'm showing you my guys the uh, 1979 Camaro. She's a beaut to me. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of do it a go over, you know, show you the nooks and crannies of her. Don't worry, she's an old lady. She's old. So, don't be getting too happy now, okay? Um, yeah, she's uh, one of my first cars that I know of. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe my truck was. I don't know. But don't get sidetracked now. Stay with me. Yes. This is uh, 1979. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to give it a ring around. See what we got going on. And uh, just kind of show you guys what it's all about. But that will be eh, maybe simple. I don't know. But, uh. Yeah, just gonna show you guys go around and maybe have a friend stop by and kind of explain a little more. Maybe we'll see. Just uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it and uh, see what we got. All right. So to kind of start this off, as you can see, it's a white Camaro, original color not exactly original right now but it's frame off restoration so it's been through the ringer a time or two well twice one from the factory and then from the person we bought it from originally but uh yeah it's supposed to be like that weird powder blue that these came with i guess back in 1979 uh they had the color for a few years before that but uh we honestly liked the way that the white looked on it and orange favorite color obviously but uh kind of gives it the whole looks of well i call this one my fire car she's fire that one's ashes we also had a blue one that we called ice so it was fire ice and ashes yeah it's a stupid joke but you know good enough but uh she was redone time or two and i did this one in high school Gave her a few sandy block and massages, all that fun stuff. But uh, I've had this car now since like 2010 or 11, I think. So almost like 10 years, believe it or not. I'm still believing. Doesn't seem like 10 years, but uh, everything looks like the way I wanted it. It's factory style, but with like pro streeted. I guess you can call it pro-streeted stuff. But, uh, yeah, that kind of works for it. I like the weld wheels. Those are, I've always liked these. My dad had them on his car, and I always wanted them on mine. So I found a nice, or actually a nice and cheap set whenever we uh, were building this. And it just so happened that it was also cheap. So I was able to afford it back then. So there we are. She's quite a core it's a four speed with a 355 i'll show you don't worry don't get your hopes up and it's an all original interior this is also a original what is it fifty six thousand miles on it yep mm -hmm. yeah so we found this up in ohio believe you me and uh wasn't rotted out i mean other than floor pans which is typical for most f bodies because every car rots out in the front uh, front floor pan usually and sometimes in the trunk we'll get to that okay yes hey you're up hey you get out of here you don't know what you're talking about okay okay, okay. you can take over don't worry don't worry i'll let you take over okay calm down okay i'll get out of your way so now that you got this city boy yuppie boy out of here he don't know anything about Camaros. There's a few different ways you gotta approach these bad boys, okay? You gotta give them the feeds, you know, and then like punch it to the ground, okay? You gotta get all you can out of it, all right? That's how you ride these things. It's just rules of owning a Camaro, okay? F bodies. Okay, we're gonna, we'll get there, don't worry. So, yes. You wanna know how many ponies are under, right? So do I. Since he don't know, he only knows how to build them. He don't know how to drive them. So, we'll just kind of give you a little glander at her, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, so rule number one. 
we're gonna have to write this down so you guys are all remember this i'll show you physically and we'll go from there rule number one you gotta know what you got okay so what we got here is a tree 55 with a tree in it okay tree and uh some aluminum cylinders and aluminum with the uh, air gapums air take okay got this customized here fuel system that i don't know how it works but it's there okay uh i don't know how any of this works actually i just know how to drive it so i'm not a mechanic so we'll just go with it you know you got a scoominum over here orange red purple got all different colors each one means a different horsepower so there's at least 25 horsepower here that i know of okay so that's that that's all i know okay that's enough of that now what you got in, in here is you got the magical gear wand there that'll shift into the faster modes you know you got one for slow obviously two for hyper speed four for light speed and wait did i skip three okay well four is for hyperdrive and three is for just blow it up already would you send it to the moon kind of deal okay so that's what you got there and you got your you know magical digital dash thing there that's somehow related to a car and whatever the z28 means or everybody can call it z z or z28 and then don't look at that yet i'm not ready for you to see that yet i don't think you guys can handle it okay so there's that and well the z28 means go fast stickers so there's at least three on this side so three extra horsepowers but one thing you must know also is that well there's more there it breathes bald eagles okay you know it's a merkin made by a french guy but it breathes bald eagles so that's all you gotta know about okay there might even be an extra one over here even if we're lucky with a dull exhaust well look at that we are there's two bald eagles so we know it's fast because it's american by french well french guy i guess developed these i don't know i just drive them okay okay that's all we need to know so do you even have a marker in here to write down my rolls oh you do oh you got candy give me that candy you can get this candy no that's fine okay yep we'll just eat one of these okay Yep, that's mine now. He lost it. Oh, and piece of cardboard. Perfect. I can write you guys down rules. I'll write this out for you, okay? See? Rules. You need to know what you get. One. Know what you got. Something like that. Don't mind the chicken scratch. It's only just temporary, okay? Number two, you got to know how to drive a French car that's American. Okay? Know how to drive a French car. Do I know what I'm doing? No, I just wing it, as we always say. All right. French car. American. So, I'm probably wrong about the French guy. I don't know. I'm just going with it because I think something with the word or something's French. So, just ignore that. We'll just not do that. So, as you see, you kind of got sticky meats, but you don't got sticky meats because they're just BFGs. So, yeah, that's all you got. Well, I guess the only rule is know what you got and if you have a cassette tape, like that, somehow if you can see that, you obviously gotta play some Leonard Skitter in there. Cause that's about all you gotta do, okay? It's like, yeah, Sweet Home Alabama. It's all Merc in there, okay? That's rule number three, final rule. Leonard Skinner, don't know how to spell, so we're just going with it. good enough okay so those are my main rules <coughs> we don't know how to we don't know how to build them but we just know how to drive them okay that's it so 
I say screw the yuppie boy and we just go and rip on her. See what uh, funions she's got fed in her. See if he knows how to actually give her the juice. Hey, if you see that too, look at that. We got some traction bars. You got frame connectors under there. I even heard that I had an X pipe. I just, yeah. I mean, you should be, you know, ripping tip on the tater chip. Should be good enough. Okay. Let's just kind of get in there and see what we get. All right. So, rule number five, I think it is, is you need to have the mullet flowing in the wind. You can't have it restricted, okay? That's just, you'll understand, okay? Just had my permed up today, so we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Simple though for the rolls. Tony Camaro. Can't be the yuppie boy. It's gotta be you. Gotta be slightly French too, maybe. That might work. 
too. We'll go with that. Or at least have a piece of French toast with you, and we'll just call you French. Yeah, yeah that works. That's a good roll. shifts you in the hyperdrive, you know? It's like speed boost. Mm -hmm. Somehow you keep going faster. Don't know how it works, but it works. Mm -hmm. But, one bad thing, but it's a good thing. Four miles at a gallon. Beat them. Yep. It's the best fuel economy you can get. Uh-huh. Eagles are screaming back here. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Bald Eagles. That's what runs this car. We fill up on the Bald Eagles. good thing about this car never gets over 180 degrees if you do it's like a hundred degree day but the suspension down in enough to street use I don't know nothing about it we'll wing it never I did all the work so you know Feel the cam galloping. She's a bubba bubba bubba
bald eagle attached to it. Okay, next one. thing is it's a durability test you gotta see what you can do okay so what you do is give it some rpms and just you know let it rip yep that about it she skips and rips That's my class for rules to drive a Camaro if you own one. So don't forget them because they're going to be important when you own one, okay? You'll thank me later. I'm going to let the yuppie take care of the rest of the video for you, so stick tuned for him. Well, I guess that happened. 
Uh, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> but uh, it happened. I guess what he said is, those are the rules, I guess, if you need to own a Camaro, you gotta follow them, I guess, you know? I guess I can't own this one anymore, I can just fix them. He might be back for other Camaro videos that we have, but that ain't the biggest surprise, though. This, there's still more in stock, or in store for this. I got some new parts, I'm gonna eventually be shuffling around, possibly some big upgrades for it that we know of, other than just the aluminum heads, but like, we've built the motor already in this but there's possible other stuff in the works i'm working on but i do have an efi for this and it's the uh what is it super or the x-flow sniper that's up to 800 horsepower i got one of those for this see, so we can get rid of the uh, carburetor see how it runs on that i don't know how it's going to do with the stick because i know the rc 10 is a little weird since it's stick and just a big mess but it's not bad though it runs good and then I also have a six-speed for this. That I ain't going to tell you what it is yet. But it's a six-speed. But uh, I got that for this. Some other linkages and all the other fun stuff. Uh, I'm still trying to look for some wheels for this, maybe. Ones that are just for appearance looks. I can make these like a drag set of whatever. Because I can just put drag tires on it and it'll be good to go. And they're already light-weighted uh, weld wheels. And then... Uh, it already has the Holly Hooker Blackheart uh, exhaust on it, so we got the X-Pipe ready to go. Um, it's got headers, stainless steel, or not stainless, uh, ceramic coated headers. Uh, so that's got that going. Then you see the traction bars and all the other fun jazz with the uh, subframe connectors. But one thing I really want to do to this to kind of fix how it's this high on the front end and kind of low in the back end is I want to put coilovers on this. Uh, I was probably going to go with the QA1s. Whenever I get extra money together to buy those for this, ain't gonna be right now. That's gonna be down the road after I get some other stuff figured out for this first. But uh, that's also in the works too of what I wanna do. I'm not gonna do a four link suspension in the back. I'm gonna stick with the leaf springs because I don't have any problems with them. And I have parts already set up for this for traction parts I've spent <laughs> a decent per or a penny on. So we're gonna stick with that. Uh, other than the cosmetics and fixing the radio here soon. Stick around for that one too. And it'll be okay. But uh, yeah, this is my pretty much high school car when I was I started out. So this kind of got me a really, uh, bad juju for buying more cars kind of deal. So <laughs> it's a good kind of start. But uh, I think that's it. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and kind of learning a little bit about this and just kind of going for a jewelry ride with the other guy. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't done so yet, please subscribe and uh, leave a like, comment, talk about your guys' cars, your first car. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. So thanks for watching.